You're listening to WJHS 91.5 The Eagle. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where we look at the evolution of media from the 1600s all the way to present day. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now let's take a step back in time. Parents, imagine you were back in middle school. It's 5 a.m. on a snowy winter day, and you were scheduled to get five inches of snow last night. You hear that phone ring, but luckily for you, your mother is home, and she answered it. After a few restless minutes pass, she slowly cracks the door and whispers to you, Honey, school is canceled. As memorable and joyful as this sentence is, this comes less and less over the years. The culprit behind this ruined memory is a bit dated, so we're going to have to give you a blast from the past. This culprit was the first commercialized phone. This phone was called the Motorola Ditect 8000X. This phone was really unexpected for this day and age. People did not know what to think when they would buy it. People would sit in this line for hours. There were over a thousand people in this waiting line for this phone when it first came out. This phone was no, nowhere close to being cheap either. It was $4,000 back in their day, but in present day, this phone cost $10,000. When you waited in line for that long, you were not going to expect what is good for a mobile phone. This phone had about 30 minutes of talk time and it had a standby time for only six hours. This phone could only hold about 30 contacts. So you could only have the most important people in your life on that phone. The phone also had a 10 hour mandatory charge time and weighed about two pounds. This phone being two pounds actually got its nickname very quickly being nicknamed the brick. Compared to present day phones, people are probably saying that this phone was pretty bad. And compared to what we have nowadays, it actually is pretty bad, but people back then didn't actually understand what a good product was because they've never got their hands on it before. This wasn't a phone you could just walk around with. This is a phone you would carry around in your purse or in a briefcase. And this is because it was so big and super heavy. But if you wanted to carry this device around you would, with you, you would have to make sure you charge that thing all night. This is a wireless phone, so the talking system was super strange because it was called AMPS. AMPS stands for Advanced Mobile Phone System. And this system is where you get connected to your closest tower you are at and you try to get the strongest connection you can. So for example, if you were super far away from the tower, your connection would be bad and you would not be able to hear to hear a, a lot. But if you were super close to the tower, then your connection would be clear. This system was not the greatest because would never be super close to one of the towers. But like I said, people never expected that what it would be like. So if, if you bought it, I don't know what you could do if you didn't like it. To switch gears a little bit, this phone has been proven to be a revolutionary idea in the eyes of other companies. Other companies would take this Motorola phone apart to see what made it tick. Because of that today, the phone has evolved because of this one Motorola phone. Although compared to today, this phone was not very good, people actually said back then that this phone was one of the best phones they've had compared to their hard lines that they had operating. Oh, you know what that sound is? Our battery is running out on our phone because, you know, 30 minutes of talk time is coming to the end. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJHS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy Mass Media Classes. Media in the Making, teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, this podcast series is on the WJHS 91.5 website, wjhs915.org. Thank you for joining us.